Oh, can we, could you live on it? Yeah. Without anything else? Well, is the body able to transform? I think it's possible. This iron thing? I think it may be possible. Mm -hmm. um, there are some people in the world who have been tested in laboratories who, who say they are breatharian, mm -hmm. people who live only on water and air. And some of these people have said that they could not live in a city, but they can only live in the mountains and under drinking certain kinds of water. And just from from what I have read and observed and, and uh, from their interviews, I would say that that it is possible to live because what they're talking about when they say they can't live in the city, they're not getting enough active hydrogen in their water. Um, and so uh, I believe that that it may be possible, but. Uh, that remains to be seen in the future. <laughs> okay. So, um, but in a way, you don't need any other, um, I would say, supplements like like uh, vitamin C or something because you say, and it's proven that it's uh, the best antioxidant we ever have. Well, first of all, you have to understand that that there are hundreds of antioxidants mm -hmm. in food, and Life, life is a process of overcoming, uh, of life giving versus life depri depriving uh, substances, toxins in the cells versus things that, that give energy and life to the cells. And when the toxins exceed the things that, that give life, if you can't detoxify, mm -hmm. your body dies and begin, your cells begin to drown in their own waste products. Mm -hmm. And so, so when we're talking about Antioxidants. If your body is loaded with toxins, it may be possible that you need a broad spectrum because different antioxidants work at different energy levels. Now, now active H, active hydrogen, is is a level where it can restore and replenish the other antioxidants. But the other antioxidants may be necessary because because they operate at different voltage levels. At, for different cellular reactions. So when when we say uh, active H or active hydrogen is a thousand times more powerful than vitamin C, vitamin C works by releasing an active hydrogen molecule. Mm -hmm. For every large molecule of vitamin C, it releases a tiny active hydrogen. But that active hydrogen released by vitamin C ha has its own special voltage mm -hmm. yeah. characteristics that is just for vitamin C, mm -hmm. so vitamin C, I believe, is necessary in the body. I, I, it, we could run studies to see if it's possible that that uh, that uh, some of the, uh, like for example, vitamin C de deficiency can lead to certain uh, problems in the body. It's possible that that active H, just hydrogen, might be able to to um, replace vitamin C. But uh, I am of the firm belief that, that you should eat a, a, a diet that's rich in healthy, organic uh, foods with lots of coloring because it's the coloring uh, molecules that, that, that uh, are uh, high in antioxidant values and, and, and take a lot of H minus ions into your body because, because it is like the master antioxidant that feeds all the other antioxidants. That's what that was the reason why we um no I put it different way around mm -hmm. um we had a, a lady in our um, class talking about measurement of antioxidants right they had a laser scanner oh. yeah 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 scanning something she I said can tell you about she it. said it was the yes. better carotenoids in the cells and we said well probably it is but we don't believe really in it and she said well that's the point uh, where <laughs> you can measure the concentration of antioxidants. Well, no, and that's that only one we kind of antioxidant. <laughs> exactly. Closing our eyes, exactly. ears, and say, okay, go ahead. But yeah, in fact, you can drink carrot juice mm -hmm. and increase the carotenoid content in your skin. Sure. And that scanner will show mm -hmm. that you have all the antioxidants you need, and you yeah. can be very ill, yeah. very sick, that's because it. that's it. Because that's all you have is yeah. the carotenoid. No. Yeah. 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 So even if you have a little lack of beta carotenoids, but you take a lot of active age, you're well. 
you were exactly. fine. Exactly. But she didn't believe that that might have an influence in the antioxidant level or whatever. There, there's an, there is a test that, that, uh, that we're, we're getting ready to, to um, purchase the, the machine that does this test. Mm -hmm. but the laser? Well, yeah. no, that, no, not that, no. I hope not. I, the laser machine doesn't work. I, yeah. it's, it's, I, I don't believe, it, in fact, it has great, great problems. But the, yeah. no, there, there's a test that measures the amount of free radicals in your body. Yeah. F R A S is, is, that one is a good one. Yeah. Uh -huh, I think so. Yeah. Uh, from what I can see, and uh, and the machines are not that expensive. They're only six thousand yeah. dollars or so. That's one of the machines I want to buy for our laboratory. Uh, is the FRAS test because I have a feeling that that test is much better than than the one that measures because in, instead of measuring carotenoids. You're actually measuring free radicals. So the lower the free radicals, the healthier we are. So uh, you could you could have lots of lots of uh, carotenoids in your cells, and you could be loaded with free radicals.